Hello guys. In the previous lesson, we obtained the general specific coefficients related to the mass spring and damping ratio, and which is creating the equation of motion of any physical system in universe. Okay, and so in this lesson we obtain the second order dynamic equation in here and so we need to only apply the mathematical rules or conditions or the general form of these things okay and so we can have the two methods in system dynamics and these are the useful methods to manipulate the equation of motion which is represented by the second order dynamics okay and so in the first place we should focus on the transfer function and the transfer function means that uh, we can manipulate the linear systems into the dimensions one okay and uh, what is the transfer function in the universe or in the maths we have only such kind of system the any system which is represented by the rectangle in here has the input variable and the output variable and so if we have a system which is the independent of the time and so we can easily measure or estimate the output of the input okay such as if we have only a k times x relation or the spring coefficient in our system in the first case and so if we have the k is equal to 5 and so we can easily set the x to any value and obtain the force value but if the f is equal to m x dot dot plus c x dot plus k x dependent of the time and so we need to integrate or differentiate the any equation in the time approach and so at now the only the now variable or instance variable is used but in the dependent of the time form we should utilize the past and now feature which is creates a pattern of the distance which means that integrator or the differentiation or derivative rules should be applied on this system okay and so what is the transfer function the transfer function can be used to imitate this kind of system into the this one and so if we take the transfer function of this system and then we have the only the now value is used in this form and so the transfer function is independent of the time and so if we push the any x or any f value in here and so we can observe the x value in time this is the most powerful method in here because the time is extracted from the equation and so we can easily estimate the how we have or what we have in the output session in the estimation of this kind of system and so the general notation is given by gs value in here and so if we take the laplace transform of these things and so the general rule is the f is time dependent and so fs should be written in here m is not time dependent and so m is the same with this formula 
x dot dot which means that uh, taking the two derivative term in the position value and so we should add s square in here with the number of this dot value or differentiation times and so suppose that if we have three dot in here and so we should write it as the three instead of two okay and so x is the time dependent and so x s should be written in here with the same analogy x s s and k x s okay c and k are the independence of the time and so these values should be translated into this equation and so we should collect the whole the form f as the input value and x as is, is the output value and so m times s square plus c s plus k should be written in here and so what about the transfer function a transfer function means that if we apply the unit force to this system and so what is the value of the x or position value in the output but the main difference with this equation this is the time dependent but in the form of transfer function we should not involve the time representation only the frequency domain okay and so we can write it down as the one divided by m s square plus c s plus k and so this is called the transfer function of this system representation okay and so the main advantage of this equation s s represents the differentiation or integration factor in time and so if we have the specific input variable which may be involved the time or not involved the time it doesn't matter and so if we have this equation or this transfer function or plant function in here and so we can estimate the position value in any time such as the t, t is equal to zero or t equal to infinity we would <coughs> know the value of the output variable and so if we have this kind of system in here and then we can write it down as such as the m is equal to 1 2 or c is equal to 2 and k equal to 1 and so this is the general notation of this transfer function s square plus 2s plus 1 and so this is our general plant equation in the frequency domain methods okay and so what about the state space presentation the state space presentation is used to what we should write the state space representation in here and so what's the advantage of the use usage of these things the main reason to use the state space representation is that every system can be defined or represented by first order equation in maths or in system dynamics and what does it that mean it means that if we have the first order equation form of system dynamic approach or the system and so we can easily manipulate by using a lot of mathematical formulas or the rules okay 
but in the second order term we cannot easily solve or we cannot easily apply two mathematical rules on this equation of motion for example if we have this kind of system x dot dot plus 2x dot plus x in here okay and so how can we obtain the xt value in easy form we cannot easily obtain the xt solution in here and so we cannot easily to find the stability rule or to find manipulate these things because the second order comes with a main difficulties related to the mathematical notation but what about this if we have defined a vectorial system in here like this one z is the dummy variable in here must be equal to x and so if we define the z2 is equal to what x dot and so if we take a derivative of these things and so z1 is equal to z2 because z2 is equal to x dot and so we can easily write it down as the z1 and so <coughs> this is the term m is equal to 1 in here c and so k is equal to 1 at this position okay and so z2 is equal to x dot dot is equal to what in the formic dimension in here we can write it down as the what f divided by m plus z1 times minus k m plus z2 times minus c m okay because this representation is equal to f m x dot dot plus c x dot plus k x and so the x dot is equal to what f divided by m minus c divided by m x dot minus k divided by m x and so if we put or if we replaced m with the one c with the two k with the one and so we have this kind of equation but so and so we have now the vector of these things okay and so in vector notation we can easily write it down as to what z1 dot z2 dot as a vector in here and so we can easily write it down as the z1 and z2 creates the parameter of these things and so the zero one because z1 dot is equal to zero times z1 one times z2 and so in the second place minus km is times z1 creates a z2 and so cm times z2 creates this formula but with the main difference is that because we have the this kind of vector in here times f and so if you are expand this state space form we obtain the z2 dot and z1 dot but the main advantage of these things is that the z dot is equal to a z plus b f and so we can easily solve this equation because this equation is in the first order form and so as well as the in the programming language we can easily create or model this first order form by using programming techniques especially in the matlab or python or c or c plus plus the any language can be imitated by this character okay and so in the next lesson uh, we will pass to matlab application in order to try to create the transfer function of this system and as well as the state space representation of this system on the matlab application